Farrell, and Clareton. Two programs that have combined for seven state championships and 29 district titles. But lately, this rivalry has been all about the Bears, with Clareton beating Farrell in four consecutive Western Finals. This game isn't really about the X's and O's. It's, it's about the, the mental state and and just getting over that that hump, you know what I mean, of the four losses. And, and just they're going to try to intimidate us and and do what they do best, you know what I mean? And, and we're just talking to our kids about just getting over the hump. Our heart's bump, pumping now. Uh, we want to win. Uh, just thinking about it, uh, we got to do this for Farrell. We should win for Farrell. We should win for everybody in Farrell that hasn't won. It's just for everybody. It's, it's tough for revenge. It's, we're tired of them. They're talking down on us. No respect. And we're just going to show them who we are finally. Tired of being the underdog. We shouldn't be the underdog in the first place. Emotions will be running high for both teams on Friday. And the Steelers like their chances this year based on their size and skill up front with one of the best offensive lines in the state. They have to stop our run game. We just have to ground pound, uh, be more physical, uh, talk up front, just make sure we do all of our responsibilities, make sure all of our assignments. Farrell will look to win back-to-back -back state titles for the second time in school history. And based on the new competitive balance regulations in the PIAA, this could be their last year in Class A. We definitely want to go out on top in Class A, and which better way to do it is by beating Clareton in Class A, you know what I mean? So we'll try to win that crown, back-to-back -back crowns there, and then we'll go up the double way and compete as well.